Let's get to that instant. I'll get Mikey first on it. 40th over of the game. Rohit Sharma batting on 90. Caught at uh, deep mid wicket of a full toss. And I'll let the boys decide on, on the legality or the legitimacy of that because it was allowed by the umpires. There were three or four stories in that over and we'll, we'll talk through each one of them. Mikey, that's the incident itself. Rarely do we see umpires give decisions on the field. In this case, they did and they got it wrong. What did you make of it? Well, you see umpires calling wides and no balls for mm. balls like that. Over the batsman's head, the square leg umpire calls it above the waist the square leg umpire then calls it but I think that was a mistake and as we have seen on so many occasions that batsmen have been out and the umpire has referred it upstairs to see if it's a no ball or not not no one has asked him to do that he has referred it because he think it might be a no ball when things like that happen the fielding team should have the right to say I'm gonna I would like the third umpire to have a look at that I do not think that judgment call was correct I do not think the ball was above the waist high and that should be referred by the fielding team once they have a referral that that is but at the moment they can't they just have to accept the umpire's decision and that's a decision that can affect the game any decision that can affect the game is what we have been trying to get rid of the bad decisions and as far as I'm concerned that was a bad decision though in this particular case Marty if you're a batsman out there in the middle and the umpires may to call you can't go back from there can you as a batsman I mean you wouldn't want that to go back you've seen the umpire make a call some batsmen might argue you almost choose your shot depending on what you see from the umpire in that particular instance would you like to see something different happen um, well I think as a batsman you know you're you're reacting to the ball in a split second so you know you, you, Rohit Sharma was obviously uh, trying to capitalize on on what looked like a, a juicy full toss um, but the fact is is that he was caught on it and it was below the waist and all is uh, all it would take was for the umpires just to say actually can we just check that um, it, it, there's nothing wrong with Alan, Alan Dar making the decision at square leg or indicating to uh, who was it uh, Ian Gould at, at, at the strikers end that he thinks it's a no ball but go and check take five seconds yeah. and and to me that could be could be a 15 20 run swing we almost have this in every game where the umpire usually don't give it and check afterwards one of the cases where it's just probably bad luck to the umpire mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's a wrong decision. Uh, and when you have the option of actually going up and checking, especially in a... Well, when Rohit Sharma hit, he probably thought it was six. Anyway, the umpire. Uh, and he'd already made the call. It's still an option to go up and check. Uh, and those decisions are allowed. You can go up and check those decisions. So, very strange. I think Bangladesh will feel uh, very hard done by there because uh, from 90 to 137, and he scored those runs very, very quickly. Just got another partnership going and uh, India probably wouldn't have got to 300 if uh, that decision would have been changed at that point. Mm.